Dear Bear Instructor, there is a topic associated with Bear Instruct that we have neglected for far too long, and that is family. Family is um, the most important structure or unit that you will be involved in in your life. So not only is it something that everybody has to deal with in one way or another family, um, but it's also a unit made up of living beings. Nothing about the family unit is artificial. It is 100% a biological reality of living on this earth. If the human race is going to continue, then we need families. We need a man's sperm and a woman's egg. We need conception to happen. The woman grows the baby, the baby is born, and so on and so forth, a family unit is created. Um, and of course, there's many ways that people are creating families um, nowadays. But biologically, that is the simplistic way of creating a family. These are the most important living beings that we engage with in our lives. Therefore, it's the most important relationships with living beings that we ever have in our lives. Now, our relationships to plants are, of course, a very um, overlooked thing that um, society has made it really easy to ignore. Um, and it is vital to our um, progression as a human race, as well as our um, survival. Um, and that includes our relationships with animals and ecosystems, all living things our relationship to those living things make it possible for us to continue the human race. Therefore, we need to prioritize those relationships rather than prioritizing our artificial um, pursuits. The first idea when it comes to family, the first very strict idea is the biological roles or physiological roles of a man and a woman. The biological role of a woman is to um, create babies. That role of creating babies is directly tied to um, the role of nurturing. So, you know, many say, you know, women shouldn't have to have babies. Men shouldn't have to provide. And yeah, that's true. You're right. You're absolutely right. However, our bodies say otherwise. So what that convinces me of is that the most fulfilling thing that I can do as a woman is do what I'm biologically created to do. And I believe that the most fulfilling thing a man can do is to biologically do what he was created to do. Many men are being deprived of the opportunity to actively provide for their families. They do it in very, indirect ways these days. They're um, working these jobs and then they create money and then they, that way food can be bought, um, a home can be bought, a place for the family to live um, and all the necessary things when a provider is someone who is actively working with other living beings to sustain his family. So that would be working with plants and working with animals in some capacity. Um, and what I find so beautiful about both of these roles is that in both roles, you are cultivating life. You are actively participating in the circle of life, um, whether that is um, foraging for food, growing food on your property, or hunting food respectfully and sustainably. And then with women, it's, it's very obvious that we're creating life and cultivating life when we have our babies, um, especially when we can do it in the most natural way possible. I believe that that is going to be the most biologically fulfilling thing we can do. And truly, Verastruct is about doing what humans are meant to do on this earth. 
and that is to engage with living beings. Um, and I think that's very obvious. It is the living beings that continue life. And that's the only way to continue life is through living beings. It's not through artifice. It's not through manufacturing health or safety or mimicking certain functions that only humans are meant to do or plants are meant to do or animals are meant to do. The further away that we get from engaging with living beings, the further away we get from ourselves. You are a deep fountain of unique identity, Verastructor. Have a lovely week.